So to start off with, I'm going to show you charity shops. The first two things I got are books, the Beatles. Um, I got the got these because of the Yesterday film that came out. It was during the week of when that film came out, so these were the in thing now in the shops. They were displaying these. Um, I saw the Yesterday film. It was good. It was very Richard Curtis, though I do actually like Richard Curtis, Richard, Richard Curtis's films and Hugh Grant. Um, it was okay, but anyway, um, that, that may be another category for another video, maybe. So this uh, is like a book about the Beatles, so it's fully coloured, and it's practically about every album that they've had. Um, this is quite an old book, it's a hardback, so it's quite old. Um, it only costs £1.50 with purchase, and then the next one is also costs £1.50. And it's a soft cover book, and it's just about, you know, the Beatles in general. So, Top from Spiral. My mum actually picked this out for me, because uh, well, she was in town and I wasn't. So, she picked this out, which is very good. She knows my style now. Um, I'm not really into, like, big statement pieces, but, you know, it's Spiral, so why not? And it, a Spiral are quite, I guess they are quite reasonably, reasonably priced. But, you know, so this is an extra large, I can use it as an IT, this is, you know, as an oversized top really, as you can see it's got like a steampunk fairy on there, though I'm not even in, into big statement, you know, things on here, like on my top, which I'll talk about later, but yeah, I, obviously I got it because it's, my mum got it for me because she, she knows my style, and as you can see it's got lace down the sleeves there. And yeah, it just covers my arse, so it almost covers, and my nether regions almost just covers like you know, all of it, so you can pass it up as a nighty. Also, uh, I got this other top from Spiral that mum got back for me, but um, I can't find it. It's probably still in the wash now, but it's got like a, a diagram on the front where it's like a bodice corset design on there, though it's not really, it's fake. And then the sleeves are like uh, lace as well, but they've got a very unusual three layers of lace down here. And of course the lace is very, very lovely and it's got roses, so that's that. Uh, again, it's, it's a medium, but it's still pretty big on me actually. This vest, the lace vest on there, uh, very strappy. Um, it's got like, it looks like bodicey where it's got... Um, I won't say it, it doesn't have boning down there, but it does actually look like it's got boning. The four strips of four strips of boning down there. The lace is absolutely stunning. Uh, it came with a slip underneath, but of course I tried it on, but in the shop. But um, when I tried it on, you couldn't really see the bodice, the like the bodice corsety effect in there. So when I got home, I cut 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 the black slip out. As you can see it's quite a shoddy job there. It's got like a hole there and but uh, the reason being because you know you can't really couldn't really see it so I probably one of my favourite vests now because I wear it all the time since I got it and when you wear it, it feels like it actually feels like you're actually wearing a bodice of course it because it's quite tight around your uh, middle so that I got are uh, these pair of leggings which I got in uh, it's called the works I think um, it's just like a, an essential normal pair of leggings which was cheap because it's essential wear because it's going to be cheap shop I got these trousers as well um, size 8 because these do fit uh, I love it it fits it's very snug and it fits perfectly it's not tight or anything it's just elasticated so it's got, don't need any belts of it on it it's got no hook Hoops and Stokes art prints. This was one pound fifty. Still haven't built up my wall yet because I'm not. I'm still undecided where I'm going to build it. Though I think I might build it up towards the ceiling so the angel is actually facing to the heavens. Um, there were quite a few in the shop, but I, but I settled but I settled on this one because it's fit with the entirety of the of my room of the colour scheme and also it's, I love this angel because she's elegant and you know I've already got like an angel poster 
on top of my TV and an angel and the same angel figurine up on my shelf. So it fits in with the theme of my room. Prop, prop it up and Stokes artwork so you know it's official. It's Ballet Shoes, which was adapted from a book. It's got Emma, Emma Watson in it and it's got the, and it's, what's her name? Uh, Lucy Boynton from Bohemian Rhapsody, who I think is still, is actually going out with the Varmy, Malik. Mark Warren in it as well, which I love because he was in uh, Boy George, um, worried about a boy and I loved him ever since The Hustle. I remember watching The Hustle on BBC and I don't know, I fell in love with him a little bit. <laughs> and not only that, but I don't know about you, but he reminds me of um, that comedian, what's his name? No, but he's got the jawline, he's, he looks exactly like him. And also got uh, the late Victoria wouldn't it? Source code, I picked this up last weekend as well as the Ann Stokes um, print. It's still sealed. I love this, I love this movie because um, it's like it's got time travel aspect to it where Jake Jake Gilling, Gilling, Gillinghall is on the train and it's got like a, he has to relive the same moment until he gets it right. And it's got like a lentic lenticular um, front to it. And of course I got it because it's still sealed. And not only that, because of the special features. It's actually directed by David Bowie's son, uh, Duncan Jones. Show. Um, I love Jim Carrey. So I remember watching this as I was a kid. And I decided to get the DVD because of the special features. This well. thing is Batman Arkham Origins. The sequel to the first game, which I haven't got. Uh, Revolver by Marcus Sedgwick. Sedgwick even. Uh, it's paperback. And obviously it is a children's book, but of course I got it because he's my favourite author. A book which my mum got for me and it has everything that I would ever need in it. It's Killer by Bram Stoker, which is a 2014 edition. Blouse top, it's like sort of satin. Uh, the colours straight away drew me in because of the purple and the different shades of purple. Different shades of blue. Large. I don't know if this was men's, but it fits. Fit, it fits well on me, even though it's a large. It might not be their official merchandise, which I know probably isn't because it's. It's not one of those, um, like normal tags that you get these merchandise from. But it's a different, a different one. But yeah, that's that. Shop is this top. Uh, I got it. It's uh, Jack Willis. It's a it fits perfectly. It's a small, which is I don't know why I put small because you won't be able to find it. Maybe um, at first when I saw it, I thought it was, thought it was a um, crow, but it's a pigeon. Um, and also it reminds me of those black craft tops you can get, as well as dark side. Um, I've got one on my wish list to eBay. Just you know, maybe if I want it or not. Because uh, it reminded me of one of those, and also because Villa wears one of, wears you know these type of tops as well. But it's obviously it's all black and big statement tops as you can see. So this is I think this is probably one of my new favorite casual tops to wear. Murder dolls got murder dolls as well. It's only fiver, and it works. And I remember um, I do have Wednesday thirteen. Uh, I do actually remember having murder dolls on my brother's iPod and um, I remember Slit My Wrist, I remember Dawn of the Dead and Dead in Hollywood and I remember those and I thought yeah I'm going to pick up the album anyway. I saw it in there and it's one of those shops where they have like a ton of DVDs and CDs and games and it's like individual seller. So and I, and I saw this and of course I got it because it was there. Picked up an Antita, uh, which, yes, quite expensive, but I don't own an Antita. Okay, so eBay time, and I felt like I wanted to spend on stuff. I love to bid on things. So the thing is, once you bid for it, and once you ordered it, and it's about to come, but then once it arrives on your door, you felt like that euphoric moment is over. So you feel like you want to spend again, but that is me. Um, I don't know what it is, but I think I'm at that end on stuff when I go shopping. But then once I spend on something, like either online or you know around town or anywhere, um, I feel like that euphoric moment is over once I get my 
my shins, um, you know, I want to spend again. It's like a tough cycle, I need to sort of get out of it and I don't know how. Final Destination box, collection of CDs, I was going to say a box set but it didn't come in a box, it was just individual. All the five Final Destination uh, DVDs. Uh, I also got Mum Silk when I was away, so it was like a late present because uh, she loves this film and so do I. You know, I've got a Japanese theme around it where the, I've got Michael Pitt, he um, falls in love with a Japanese woman and yeah, it sort of reminds me of Memo Memoirs of a Geisha. Um, I think I saw this before my Memoirs of a Geisha, but um, Revolution Radio, 21st Century Breakdown, Green Day, a Studios album from 1990 to 2009. I didn't realise that they actually began before I was born. <laughs> Here, it's got all the albums in there. They don't like singles because of how they are. But, but yes, I know I've already got this album, but I wanted the physical copy of this because I love the um, artwork in the lyric book. What have got American Idiot? I know. But, no, because it's the first album that I got, Whiplash. Um, I remember playing a demo on the from the PS2 magazine. But I really enjoyed it. It's got like a slapstick element to it. it reminds me of Daxter in a way. Uh, Jack X, yay because uh, brand new uh, from e even though it's from eBay it looks like it has not been played before. Instantly looked on the back it just instantly transported me back to the time when I played it. Um, got that actually got the whole game out in the rental shop. Very happy to get this uh, cheap but fantastic condition. Got the original sticker on there as well, which is a, which is what I look for in games. Looked for the original like promo stickers. And edition of Tales of Zillia. This book, fantastic Nick, even though the box isn't. The game as well itself is fantastic as well. Um, you know, looks brand new, not played. It's got the soundtrack and it's got the game. And from the same seller, I bid for Tales of Zillia 2. And it's got like a 3D wording on there. Um, the back is lovely, and I think this is, this is the actual continuation of this game because like some of the characters are included in this one, though I haven't even started playing it yet. So I've got a lot of games to keep me busy. So it's got the instruction book, the soundtrack, and the actual game. A bit of clothing that I ordered is this net top, this punk neck top. Back to it, you can actually do up. Um, it's like a one piece thing. It. When I looked on the picture, it, it looked like properly handmade and it was actually selling as a handmade product. No safety pins, but I didn't realise. I thought the netting of it wasn't going to be of like fantastic quality like this one is. So when I got it, when I first reached my hand in the packaging and felt its entirety, I um, felt, wow, this is such a good netting, like, you know, of Killstar netting and stuff. A Funko or Funko Pop. Uh, in one of those like game stores, Thestral from uh, Harry Potter, or oh, the Crimes of Grindelwald. Which, what I don't agree with is the price, because I think this cost around ten, yeah, ten ninety nine, and I don't really agree with it because um, all it is is mainly packaging. The box is pretty, you have to say that, and it's just like a hunk of plastic, really. But the only reason why I got this one is because it looked different to the rest. You know, very skeletal type looking. You know, so kiss me. It's only like 50p. And one of my favourite scents, George. Actually, no, not George, Matalan. So a few nice bras, nice pretty stuff. And I also got a strapless bra, which I've been looking for just to wear over my uh, tops without having the straps over it. The lace, lace, well, vest really, but it's got like a lace sleeves on it. Oh, that's the backing. Uh, I got this because of the backing, really. If it was plain, I wouldn't have got it. Um, it's quite unusual, got lace on there and I know it's white and I usually wear these type of things underneath my tops but one of these days I will if I do have the confidence. There was this individual shop that I went into called Limelight, uh, which I always go into every time I go into Weymouth because they do very nice stuff. A type top, well it's not really corset but it's very stretchy, it's got that thing about it and these you can wear top of your shoulders. I don't know if you know this. 
small to medium, but I probably wouldn't benefit it if there was an extra small because it's quite big. You know, obviously it's stretchy, so it would be quite big. But they didn't have any available, so I got the smallest size possible. The Hunchback of Notre Dame, because it's one of the un underrated Disney's out there, and it's one of my favourites. Couldn't leave without purchasing a game. So I got uh, Batman Arkham City. Arkham City. Went back in the next day, and I got to look if there's any like new new games that came in such as like particular games I was looking for was you know Silent Hill, Project Project Zero, all those horror type things and also Star Ocean. Um, they did have Star Ocean on the PS3 uh, the other time I went in last year but I didn't pick it up. I don't know why. And Fancy Tactics thing. When I got back um, from the shop I looked online and just looked on the trailer and the gameplay and um, yeah, it's probably one of those rare games, I think. This man, and I, 50p, couldn't go wrong. I love Jim Carrey, as you know, and this film is quite funny in places. Of Memories, uh, which I think is quite rare as well now. It's like an old style PS2 adventure game for the PS2. It's called Dragon Quest, and I had to stop playing Whiplash because of this, which I'm currently playing. It's so shaded and it hasn't aged. And I do have a Dragon Quest game on the DS, but I prefer to get... And I do have this on 3DS as well, but I prefer the console version because you can actually just... I prefer to sit down and play games rather than... And have the, the big screen so you can actually just sit down and play it rather than being on a small screen. So, you know, I hardly get DS games anymore anyway. So yeah, that's my collective haul. I hope you enjoyed. I've got a dry throat now because I've been talking for so long. So yeah, um, comment down below what your favourite item was, and I don't know what my next video will be, but I'll see you then, and yeah, thank you for watching.